a family taking a family photo while their adopted black boy but could only sit alone on the side finally the mother defied the father's objection asked the boy to come and take the picture with her he stood by the family in a formal manner and with a click the boy had a family for the first time his name is mike only 16 years old this year but his height is two meters tall and weighs more than 300 pounds but he is so big but his intelligence is only six years old after his father died mom could not afford to raise him in just a few years he moved to more than a dozen foster homes this day he heard his foster parents arguing over him again why don't you kick him out he's eating our family to death do you want me to kick him out like a dog sensitive mike knew it was time for him to leave from then on he started to live on the streets when he was hungry he picked up garbage and ate it when he got tired he went to sleep in the school gym until he met this family one day mike was walking in the cold rainy night in his thin short sleeves he was shivering in the cold this scene was seen by the toxi family hey, big mike. Where you Where? toxi looked at mike's figure and couldn't bear to see him Turn around. they catch up with mike toxi gets out of the car looking very strong come to the Taosis cottage mike was stunned he had never seen such a beautiful house and he had never slept on such a comfortable couch back in his room Torsi regretted it a black man from the slums he wouldn't steal anything would he but the next day tosai was stunned not only was nothing missing from the room mike also folded the quilt neatly before leaving toxie was deeply touched by this scene she went after him she called out to mike who had not yet left it's thanksgiving stay another day toxie cooked a lot of food the family ate and watched the game but mike only took a little vegetable and a piece of bread he sat alone at the table and ate tosai saw this scene she she felt very uncomfortable so she turned off the tv and sent everyone to the table and she said a prayer before the meal the children also offered their hands to mike mike was stunned for the first time in his life he felt at home in a strange family after the meal toxie took mike to the mall at the end of the day toxie asked mike a question do you michael do you want to stay here I don't want to go any place else. Hearing this, Toxie smiled and didn't say anything. But the next day she made a room available. Mike asked skeptically if this was for me. Toxie said yes. I never had one before. Want to bring A 16-year-old Mike had never slept in a bed. Toxie's heart ached inside. You have one now. She thought long and hard about it and made an important decision. She would adopt Mike and give him a home. So she gathered the family together. Ask Mike. We, we want to know if you would like to become part of the family. And that's how they officially became a family. Toxi also gave Mike a new car. The brother was so excited that he asked Mike to take him for a ride. But then an accident happened on the The brother was on the road with his younger brother getting high. Suddenly, Mom rushed to the scene. Fortunately, the brother was not seriously hurt. The police were puzzled. It is reasonable to say that such a small child hit the airbag. Either his face would be broken or his neck would be broken even worse but the brother only had a little skin on his mouth it's a miracle at this point mike was blaming himself toxie came over to comfort him it's not your fault that your brother is okay then when she saw mike's bloody arm she finally understood why her brother had survived it turns out that at the moment of the crash mike risked breaking his arm to block the airbag toxie was touched soon it was christmas toxie asked mike to take a family photo with her and printed the photo on a christmas card to send to friends and family soon the news spread that a white family had adopted a black man. Toxie had tea with her friends. A bunch of people were talking in a weird way. Your daughter is so beautiful. How dare you adopt a strong black man? They live under the same roof. Aren't you worried? The implication is extremely dirty. Toshi laughed in anger. But back home, Tauxi still politely asked her daughter's thoughts. To her surprise, her daughter immediately said, It's okay, because when Mike first arrived, she found out that tall, strong Mike had the heart of a child. To counteract the gossip, she even volunteered to sit with him and study. Why are you looking at me like that? I mean, we studied together at home. The teacher also did not give up on Mike. After a series of blitzes, he started with a blank paper, and now he has a C grade, although not good. But there is a psychological test. Mike got a perfect score. What was it? Sense of protection. For the people he cares about, he will try his best to protect, just like he did when the car crash happened to protect his brother. And the trait is perfect for football. So dad used his personal connections with the coach. He recommended Mike to join the school's football team. Others struggled to hold a sand 
handbag, but Mike took four at once. The more the coach looked at him, the more he liked him. But once he got on the field, the coach was devastated. Mike was either throwing people off or carrying people to run, and even attracted by the balloon in the sky. He doesn't know the rules at all. The coach was furious. He grabbed Mike and shouted at him. Teo Sai on the sidelines could not stand to see. <laughs> She grabbed Mike. Tell him this team is your family. You have to protect them like family. This is me. And this is my brother. What if someone wants to hurt me and my brother? Stop it. You stopped it. You stopped it. The coach is dumbfounded. Does this work? With a whistle, a miracle happens. Mike blocked. Blocked. Rushed. Instant domination of the field. Soon he was in the game. As soon as the game started, Mike was targeted by a tough opponent. He was full of profanity and provocative. Mike never got into the game. The opponent kept playing with him. The opponent's father was also laughing in the audience. When Tussie heard that, The opponents on the court are getting more and more aggressive. When Mike fell down, the opponent kicked him directly in the head. The coach instantly exploded. This is too much. He rushed up to argue, but it was the opponent's home court after all. The referee actually gave the coach a yellow card. The coach was furious. Hearing the coach's words, and then I thought of what my mother said. Not that team is your family. Mike's going to fight back. What would happen if you pissed off a 300 pound man? The other guy just kicked Mike in the head. But the next second, Mike explodes. Knocked down. Knocked down. Knocked down again. Then Mike was like Donkey Kong. And then like Donkey Kong. Mike throws the player who kicked him off the court. Once again, he dominates the court and takes the game. Chusey was so proud of himself. And he says to the man who just insulted Mike. <laughs> The next day, my brother burned a CD of the game and sent it to all the top schools. When they saw Mike's amazing performance, they were shocked. They all came to Teus' home. They came to visit in person. The offers were more and more attractive. But then came the dilemma, which school to choose? The family encouraged Mike to choose the University of Mississippi because it was the alma mater of Teo Sai and her husband. Mike was happy to agree, but just before signing, a college athletic association investigator showed up at his door. She came up to Mike and asked him, do you really want to go to Mississippi? Why? Because she suspected the Taoe family had an agenda in adopting Mike. Torsi and her husband were both honorary alumni of the University of Mississippi. They only adopted Mike because of his athletic prowess. The goal was for him to make his alma mater proud and to make a name for themselves. The investigator's words. Mike felt that all those good moments had been tarnished. He went to ask Toxie if that's what she meant. Then, without waiting for Toxie to explain, he left without a backward glance. He went back to the slum where he used to live. He ran into a bunch of punks. These punks knew about Mike's adoption. They made jokes about Mike and his sister. Mike told him to shut up. He pulled out a gun. And then he went even further and said that Toxie was in there too. Mike was furious. He fought with them directly. He then realized Toxie's family had already become the people he wanted to protect the most. He called Toxie the first time he called his mother. After they met, Toxie told Mike she respected his wishes. No matter which college or team he chose, the family will always be there for him. It's your decision, Michael. It's your life. The next day Mike approached the investigator and he told him very firmly he wanted to go to the University of Mississippi. Because it's where my family goes to school. It's where they've always gone to school. 开学那天,全家人一起来送麦克,临走前,陶西忍不住落泪,提前回到车上,麦克悄悄车窗. It's wrong. What? I want a big hug. Need a proper hug. This is a true story. The prototype is the famous football player Michael O'Hare. After graduating from college, he became the most promising rookie. In 2014, he signed with the Tennessee Titans for four years and $20 million. Signed with the Tennessee Titans. And in 2015, he signed with the Carolina Panthers. To this day, he has remained close to the Taoe family. He's always been close to the Taoe family. They say that if you think the world is full of malice, watch this movie. Maybe not everyone can be as lucky as Mike, but everyone can choose to be kind.